Hello, my name is Bill. I'm the pastor here at Freedom's Lutheran Church in Gibsonville, North Carolina. Thank you very much for joining me as we consider the text for the upcoming sermon this Sunday. We are in Luke chapter 4, where Jesus is uh, driven out, led out by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. So that naturally prompts me to think, how do we overcome temptation ourselves? And in particular, what do we learn from Jesus about overcoming temptation? For me, let's get down to brass tacks. Let's get, you know, just push down to that bottom line. I believe the bottom line here in this text is a question that you and I have to answer for ourselves as we face temptation. And what we see reflected in the text is how Jesus answered that question. And the bottom line engaging question is, whom do you trust? Who do you trust? Do you trust the Lord God Almighty who lives in heaven and earth, the one we call our Father, who provides us with everything that we need for life? Or do you trust yourself? Do I trust myself? Whom do we trust more? And as I look at the temptations, what I see playing out in there is how Jesus is fully, has fully submitted himself to our Father in heaven. He wants to chase after God's will. He was chasing after God's way. He's work, looking to worship God and God alone. How often is it that when we face temptation, hmm, we may fail because we want to give in to our will. We want to do things our way. We're chasing anything but God, but God's will and God's way. As a matter of fact, sometimes God's will and God's way seems to lead opposite of what we want to do, and so we do for ourselves. So it's a big, it's a big thing to think about trust and in whom we trust. And then we see that played out in all three of Jesus' temptations, how he trusts God and the way he combats the devil and temptation, the way he shows his trust in God is by using the same resources that you and I have been given. First and foremost, he answers each of the devil's temptations with scripture. He looks to use God's word as that shield or as that two-edged two sword that slices both ways. He's able to defend himself and go on the offensive with the devil when it comes to using Holy Scripture. The other thing is this, and sometimes we forget that we have this one as a resource as well. Jesus was led or driven. I can't remember which it is Look in Luke. Look that up. But Jesus has the Holy Spirit with him. And that makes all the difference. Between God's word and the Holy Spirit's presence, Jesus can withstand the temptations of the devil, and so can you. I look forward to exploring more of this with you this coming Sunday. It's our first Sunday in Lent. Um, I am so looking forward to, to wrestling with scripture, looking through the temptations and seeing how each one of Jesus' temptations spoke to a particular need he had and a need we have. God bless you and I look forward to worshiping you with you on Sunday, either online or in person. Continue to check us out at our new website, freedens.church. That's F-R-I-E-D-E-N-S dot church. And, we'll, and once again, God bless you. I hope you have a great day.